Let's talk briefly about why we study business. We have seen the various functions and aspect of a business. It's important to ask why it's important for us as students to understand business. Why do we study business? What's, what, can, what can an understanding or a better understanding of the business environment do to help us? In particular, why is it important to understand how business and society interact with one another? Studying business can help develop certain skills about how to operate, how to work within the economy, and acquire knowledge that might prepare us for a future career, for example. And this is regardless of whether you end up working for a multinational Fortune 500 firm, start your own business, work for a government agency, manage or be a volunteer for a nonprofit. Business drives economic activity. So like it or not, it's important to understand how it operates. The economy in general provides the flow or manages the flow of economic resources. These are done through business. So understanding how that all works is important. The field of business offers a variety of challenging and interesting opportunities for careers. This is in the US throughout the world, such as marketing, human resource management, information technology, finance, production, operations, wholesaling and retailing, purchasing, many and many other business opportunities. Studying business can also help better understand how many of the business activities that are necessary to support commerce, transportation, all of the various services that we expect within our economic and political environment. Each and every one of these activities carries a price. It costs money to deliver it. How does one allocate resources to these things? That's the question that we are studying when we study a business course, particularly one that talks about business and its interaction with society. Studying business can help us understand and become well-informed consumers and can become contributing members of society. Business activities generate profits that are essential not only to the businesses themselves and the local economies in which they operate, but also to the health of the national and global economy. Understanding how our particular free enterprise economic system works and how it allocates resources and provides incentives for industry and for the workplace is really important for everyone. This is an example of how one individual entrepreneur developed over time and how that supports the economy, not just the business economy, not just the business environment, but also the social environment. Look at Bill Daniels. He founded Cablevision. It was the first cable TV system started in Casper, Wyoming in 1953. It's now con he's now considered to be one of the fathers of the cable television industry. Prior to Daniels, before he died, but prior, prior to he, when he died in 2000, he not only he not only started the company and built up Cablevision, but he also established a a fund, a, a, a foundation of 1.1 billion dollars that supports a diversity of causes from education to business ethics. During his career. He created the Young Americans Bank, where children could create bank accounts and learn about financial responsibility. This remains one of the world's only charter banks for young people. He also created the Daniels College of Business, so a donation of $20 million to the University of Denver. During his life, he affected many people and organizations beyond his business contacts, but also within his philanthropy. Uh, he left a legacy of giving and impacting communities throughout the United States. Business and those who participate in it. Um, another example we see now is Bill Gates making uh, investments in healthcare and other areas around the world. Uh, no matter, those who participate in it can have a tremendous impact on society. In the next lecture, we'll begin to explore the importance of economics as the foundation for business, how some general concepts about economics and how it works. So it explains how we develop resources and utilize resources across our national economy and in fact, the global economy. It's important not only for business, but 
it out a better understanding will help us understand how we can achieve greater prosperity in general.